Low Air Gunners, Bryce POI. Uh, we're in the Air Gun Laboratory today, which also happens to be a gym area. <laughs> but uh, what we're doing here is I'm going to run a shot string on the 2477-10 and uh, I'm checking the regulator it's been a long time since I checked this regulator and uh, I just want to check for accuracy stability and such okay I'm using these RWS Diablo basic uh, 7.0 grain Quad cutters. And this gun usually shoots about, uh, the way I have it set, three and a half turns on the hammer spring. It usually shoots with this little bottle here, 150cc bottle at 3000 psi. Regulator, I think, is set at 1750. But I've had some readings to the contrary lately. So I think it's going to get about 40 to 45 regulated sweet shots. Here's my little, I got 45 pellets sitting there. And then we got. Uh, My pellet stop here. Of course, the crony. I just uh, yesterday hooked these lights up to it, put little uh, 20, 20 lock wire in here to hang them. I'll get a lot more uh, longevity out of my batteries now since it's not having to go through this plastic. But that should turn out okay. And you guys have seen some of these guns. Maybe not that one back there, but uh, quite a bit of these. Nope, not that one down there yet. Alright, and there's my pump. Little red chugger. Okay, first shot. Eight thirty three. Duplicate eight thirty three. Whoa, eight forty five. Come on.
Okay, that was shot number 20. Seems like the key to this thing is to let the let the plenum, however small it is, but uh, let it fill up. About 30 seconds it seems to fill up. Anything less than that, the plenum's not full. So if I would have waited 30 seconds between each shot, I think this thing would have been really accurate. Or consistent. Yeah. Shot number 30. This is shot number 40. That was number 41. 42. Okay, we're off the reg. Okay, so on, uh, it was 41 shots. I'll have the numbers calculated in a moment. And what you want to do on these guns that have the ASA with the knob, after you're done shooting, you want to do your best to turn, you know, you support your, uh, your equipment here, 
so it doesn't go swinging around. And you release the, uh, turn the knob counterclockwise until it stops, you know, just a gentle stop. And when you do that, you want to make sure that you leave your hammer spring turned in the same spot where you were shooting so it could get rid of the air. So this usually only takes, uh, takes a few shots. There we go. All right, that's it. Now I can uh, take my lock nut off here. Put the hammer spring back to neutral. And that's it. Okay, so uh, what we found here with the um, results. This is a big anomaly here, 845, but I counted it. Uh, there's no other shot even near this one. So I'm not sure what happened here. It could have been something with the hammer spring. Uh, but it didn't happen on any other shots a after that or before that. So. 845 was the high, and the low, 826, 42 shots, standard deviation of 4.1, extreme spread of 19, disappointing, but that's the anomaly shot, which was here at 845. So I think this reg did pretty well for a Chinese made uh, ninja replica style washer stacked regulator. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found some stuff useful. And keep putting on the hits.